uh, table fan is not working, stand fan is not working, it becomes suffocating. And in this suffocating environment, we cannot. But even though we have made our room artificially uh, sound enough, good enough, working enough, and sitting here outside, temperature is different. But uh, due to various materials available, uh, so our next seminar will be concentrating on what are the volatile, uh, say, uh, component uh, in the air that which if we take, uh, uh, which we are taking through our nostrils into the lungs and how they affect. And it is like how health hazards are created in the modern buildings, or especially in a cozy environment. And what are the organics, uh, what are the pathogens are going on and how they are being checked. So that will be the next seminar, followed by another seminar that will be on hydro seeding. That in areas like uh, where, you know, it is not accessible, especially mine tellings area uh, where, uh, you know, it is not accessible. After mining is done, things are there and lots of pollutions happen and they even in flyish uh, dump site area also, a lot of flyish are uh, dump site becomes, you know, source of pollution. So, and, and most of the time it is not feasible to go for some kind of construction. So how hydro seeding means uh, seeds will be spread through a machine uh, and with a proper gel into that so that it can support with the uh, water that it needs for growth for a month or two. So that two are there and many more such uh, webinar we are going to take it up. So uh, in the today's context, we are very happy to have uh, to welcome over here uh, our uh, very, very energetic, uh, who is not only an engineer um, with master degree in civil engineering structure from NIT Hamirpur, and uh, he is uh, having uh, professionally qualified himself at par with uh, many, uh, many other work that he has been doing. And in fact, uh, whenever this kind of webinar or face-to-face -face training, now an idea has started, we always say Sanjeev Kumar Jindalji is always with us. Uh, leaving aside what are, the, what, are the, what are the things happening on the site or in the market or even in the, especially today is the Motkrit uh, blocks, which I'm keeping over here like this one i am keeping it is a sample given by him whenever he visited uh, so i keep this one that uh, as a symbolic uh, as a collections in my room itself over here uh, that today he is going to talk about this in fact you can see some of the in the poster itself we keep it in mind that what are the features of this uh, which he is going to uh, analyze experiment and show that uh, how advantageous uh, this is. In fact, today also I had got an online uh, meeting with uh, with uh, some architect, contractor, and owner, and one CSR agency. Uh, they are doing one construction in Jodhpur, near IIT Jodhpur. So it is on a CSR project. So they are using uh, typical uh, stones machinery without any reinforcement, and plinth area they have already they have constructed, but it comes under seismic zone two. Uh, but we uh, now codes are getting up, upgraded, but seismic zone two remains zone two, especially in uh, Rajasthan. So we had a, a online interaction that uh, they should provide some reinforcement there at the corner and as a column. Otherwise they were making stone machinery wall. So then I, consulted about this one over the phone. They got so much interested. Sir, we want this kind of things, but it may not be feasible. I say that we let you know, please join this webinar uh, today that at 2.30 where uh, Sandeep ji is going to talk about that. So uh, in fact, there are lots of enthusiasm uh, are there among the construction industry and those who are doing the construction and contractor, architect, everyone, uh, and an IDM along with uh, uh, this uh, Motkrit Aztec built uh, pro India Limited in Noida. In fact, the factory we have visited two, three times along with our trainees over here. Uh, of course, before COVID, 
and it is a really uh, art, uh, modern art of uh, manufacturing bricks to the tune of six to eight lakh per day. Uh, when we say that it is six to eight lakh per, per day, and compared to uh, normal brick uh, manufacture, uh, normal normal brick making clean, which makes three to five lakh or at the most ten lakh brick, it takes at a span of I think three to four months minimum. And uh, so making 10 lakh brick in four months and making seven to eight lakh or 10 lakh increase capacity can be increased. I think that uh, Sandeepji has increased uh, the capacity. Earlier it was six lakh, now maybe eight lakh, which you are going to explain, uh, but making every day. And then we can see the uh, demand of this material with lots of advantage. Uh, and also, uh, you know, economy and swift construction and leaving aside many other things uh, like plaster is not required, no uh, cement uh, and sand uh, as a uh, things are required. So, uh, and a lot of testings are being done. So I hope I don't want, want to make, but as a person, uh, he is very, very knowledgeable. Not only knowledgeable, he has been managing this industry so well and representing. And in fact, our building an IDM over here also, we have enforced using this kind of uh, lightweight, uh, this uh, brick here itself in this building, uh, three, four years back when construction started. So to start with, uh, let me say that, let us welcome Sandeepji uh, here uh, to, to tell about the industry as well as feasibility, uh, construction, manufacturing, testing, quality, and many other modern uh, the construction that leading, and especially multi-story building with examples as well as in a way, as the way that he likes. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, so now I would like to brief about uh, Jindal, sir. So uh, basically, he's a distinguished figure within the uh, corporate landscape. It holds an impressive academic background, having earned B.Tech, M.Tech and MBA degree, the latter accompanied by a coveted university gold medal. As a prominent director, his influence extends across several esteemed entities, including Enviro and Energy Ventures, Private Limited, Atharva Laboratories, SK, J and Sons, Ascrit Build Pro, Private Limited, JK Multiventure and many more uh, uh, companies and all duly registered with the Ministry of uh, Corporate Affairs. He boasts an illustrative career marked by his pivotal role in over 50 group housing projects, scanning the length and breadth of the nation. From the very inception to the uh, triumphant completion, his expertise signs uh, through every phase of uh, the group housing projects. And uh, a true maestro in the domain, he blends the technological uh, prowess with commercial acumen, earning him the distinguished title of the techno-commercial expert in group housing projects. One of his most pioneering contribution is uh, the introduction and implementation of the revolutionary concepts of value engineering and uh, ascrete blocks, that AAC blocks with the realm of the group uh, housing projects. And this innovative approach has uh, not only optimized the processes, but also elevated the overall quality of the uh, group housing uh, uh, concepts. And beyond his professional achievements, uh, Mr. Jindal's legacy is deeply intervened with his uh, humanitarian efforts. His visionary initiatives have played a pivotal role in fashioning disaster resilient homes, thereby bolstering communities' ability to withstand and recover the calamities. So thank you, sir, for joining us today. And uh, I am very sure that a participant will learn a lot from your uh, experiences and your uh, uh, concepts of learning on this AAC blocks in making the disaster resilient homes over to you sir thank you uh, thank you abhiksha and uh, thank you professor saab for this bhari bhartam introduction and uh, so i am not used to this bhari bhartam introduction we make lightweight uh, walls lightweight concrete walls so we would like to be like uh, lightweight only so first of all you know uh, welcome all and uh, uh, we would be talking about uh, technicalities of the double AC blocks. So in, during the introduction, introduction, there have been few things uh, which I would like to amend thereafter, which uh, have been recent developments and uh, you know 
but we would like to just uh, concentrate on the uh, technicalities of the product per se and uh, use of the product how it is good uh, uh, for the whole you know the construction and environment and uh, uh, will this be an interactive session, sir? Can I just uh, discuss, uh, you know, across and can I just, you know, everyone can open uh, the dialogue initially or will there be, a, uh, you know, the question answer session at the last? Uh, uh, sir, the question answer session at the last, like if you want to like uh, make an interactive session, the participants can raise their hand so that I can okay. switch them to the panelist link and they can directly interact with you. Uh, no, no, in that case, it will become too, uh, too complicated. See, I'll just, uh, you know, present what exactly the world AC uh, blocks are, you know, uh, okay. keeping the rest everything aside. And what exactly double AC blocks are and what exactly they do for us and what exactly you want. Uh, first of all, I, jo I just want to brief you that what exactly you want from a wall. What are the different walling materials? Walling material can be, you know, several walling material. It starts from the stone masonry. It can be, you know, red brick. It can be fly ash brick. It can be, you know, uh, concrete masonry uh, block, hollow blocks. It can be uh, panels, you know, prefabricated panels. It can be GI sheet. It can be sandwich panel. So there are many, many items which are available in the market for walling. But uh, you know what we want from the wall. To to my mind, what we want from the wall is, you know, it should uh, be a weatherproof. It should be an insulate insulation insulator for the heat and for the sound. It should look good aesthetically. It should be, you know, easy to uh, construct, easy to make it. It should be uh, what you call uh, available also. And uh, uh, aesthetically, it, it, it should look good. So if we keep all these uh, uh, parameters, uh, you know, in view, that uh, double AC block fits the most. Why? It is, you know, if you use concrete masonry, it is first of all, it's very difficult to procure, but it's very difficult to chisel out, chisel out a very heavy material. It conducts a lot of heat and sound. So there are many issues with that. And uh, red bricks also, a lot of things uh, associated with that. The, to my mind, heat conduction is the one which is paramount for any wall, walling material, be it, you know, at, uh, this kind of, uh, uh, Delhi uh, temperature or be it uh, 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 Kashmir temperature. Uh, so in both ways, it should be insulated. So for that matter, the heat insulation for the walling material uh, for double AC block uh, is the highest in the category per se, other than the puff panels. Puff panel is, you know, primarily heat insulating material, but it is not that strong. So I'll just start with the presentation. Maybe that, you know, uh, you will... Uh, uh, you will appreciate uh, that way that what is the uh, product. So I'm just sharing uh, a presentation, which is a regular presentation by us. Is it visible uh, a picture? Yes, sir, it's visible. So uh, uh, this is how that's double AC blocks are look like. So it's a porous material. You see a lot of pores within. Just a minute. Something. I am not able to advance it further. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So it's an eco friendly material. Why eco friendly? Because it's made uh, uh, with the uh, uh, waste material like fly ash or uh, something of that sort. And uh, which is, you know, otherwise is a uh, environmental hazard in the, uh, for the environment. So, uh, making from the waste with then good insulation, with the soundproofing capability, very light in weight. So, from all aspects, it is eco-friendly. And heat insulation means saving a lot of energy in heating and uh, cooling uh, the areas, the buildings. If you cool that, the air conditioning load will come up, come down. And if you heat that, uh, uh, the heating load will come down. So this is the green product from the ash crate. So earlier it was ash tech, now it is ash crate. So now how it is that mod crate blocks uh, have come up? The mod crate is uh, that the, the word has come up is the mod 
modern concrete, modified concrete and modulated concrete. So we first took mod and then create. So this is how this uh, the word, this is a brand. It's not an, uh, you know, the product. The product is double AC blocks only. So it can be used in all kinds of uh, building elements, be it, uh, you know, boundary wall, uh, normal wall used, uh, you know, everywhere. It is a complete replacement of a, a red brick other than the substructure uh, uses is like uh, below the plinth in the basement or in the foundation where it is, you know, in the close contact with the moisture, it should not be uh, done. CISI certificate, ISO certificate, LEED certified, green product. That's, you know, that's a commercial aspect of it. But uh, uh, if I go for the origin of AAC blocks, uh, that it dates back 2000 years back. The, the evidences are there 2000 years back, but in the recent modern world, this uh, 1923, it's been uh, around around a, 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 a hundred years, uh, the Sweden engineers have developed this as a, you know, replacement for the timber uh, walls. It can be used in any part of the house, boundary wall, external walls, even the ceilings also can be arrange the roofs uh, can also be done uh, when it is reinforced ones. So there are, you know, uh, why use double AC block? So there are, we have, I have listed 10 reasons for it. High strength, lightweight, cost saving, accurate dimensions, soundproof, long lasting, fireproof, thermal insulation, workability and eco-friendly. So high strength, I'll just cover high strength. High strength Per se, what do you mean by high strength? You know, the steel is very high strength and even that uh, the cotton is also high strength. But uh, if, uh, if I compare the weight ratio with the strength, the strength to the weight ratio. So that uh, should be the highest strength. If I say that, you know, the use stainless steel for the wall, that will be high strength. But what is the weight of that uh, stainless steel building? Stainless steel walls will be too high. So for a particular weight, what is the strength? So in that, uh, uh, with that ratio, it is one of the highest uh, uh, product available for walling material. A very, very light in weight. It is the density ranges from 450 to 700 kgs per square meter, uh, per, per cubic meter. And, uh, you know, it's it floats on the water. It's half of the density of the water. So it's very light material and uh, uh, very easy easy to transport easy to you know take it to the respective floors easy to place it and uh, uh, it very 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 fast in construction how does it save the cost see uh, about 20 percent of the multi-story building weight of uh, the 20 the, the multi-story building is the wall and if the wall weight is reduced by one third the whole structure of the building can be, you know, uh, made it light. You can reduce the size of the columns. You can re uh, reduce better the size of the foundation also. So accordingly, you know, uh, if you use, uh, if you use the technology of, you know, uh, the STAT Pro or something to design this uh, buildings, you can save up to 20% of a structural steel and 20% of the concrete if you use it judiciously. So that's a cost saving part of it. A very, very precise in dimensions and like uh, uh, red brick and other uh, bricks, uh, very, you know, a lot of distortion takes place during the baking uh, process. The red brick is, uh, uh, the variation of the sizes is in inches, not in mm's you will find a, a, a brick of 9 inches and you will find brick of 8.5 inches and 8.25 inches, even 8 inches also. So that becomes very, very difficult for, uh, uh, you know, uh, to lay the walls. And uh, with this kind of precise dimensions, you can avoid the internal plasters. Just an skim coat of 6 mm uh, putty or POP will work. So that's again very uh saving the cost saving uh, comes with the precise dimensions the, the dimension a precision of this product uh, as per is code is plus minus 3 mm but there are manufacturers who manufacture this uh, particular product with the precision of 1 mm or even less 
So it's very, very precise in uh, dimensions. Soundproofing. It provides a lot of, you know, soundproofing. And uh, if I say, if I compare with the, you know, there is a STC, sound transmission class. So it falls under 44 uh, transmission class. And for your convenience, for your, uh, you know, understanding sake, the sound transmission class of the wood is 50. So it is approximately 10% in variance with the wooden walls. If you make the wall with wood and if you make wall uh, with double AC blocks, so that sound transmission will be about 10% in variance. It's a long lasting product. It is in fact in concrete. AAC means aerated autoclave concrete. So very, very durable. It has been there for good about 100 years. In India, it has just come about 10, 15 years back, but now it is being used extensively in uh, major cities. And uh, it can withstand any type of, uh, you know, uh, storms or uh, hurricanes or uh, whatever. Uh, you you can take wind loads, uh, what, whatever is designed for this uh, tropical areas of Delhi and so. Fireproofing is another attribute which is quite good for this product. For normally, you uh, this uh, the fireproofing rating is uh, for the red brick is two hours. For this particular product is four hours. So it is double uh, of the uh, red brick. If I compare with the red brick only. A uh, thermal insulation is R30, which is quite, quite good, in fact, uh, in this uh, uh, product. Uh, if you do air conditioning, you will save at 30% of the air conditioning capital cost as well as running cost. Suppose you make a hall with 100 uh, tons of refrigeration. If you use these walls, it may reduce up till, you know, 30% of the capital uh, cost you can reduce it by 30 tons and the running cost itself will come down and in the winters you know the cooling this heating cost will come down workability should be you know for a product workable workability is a key area because in the stone masonry or other masonry it is difficult for you know last aapko jo brick lagana hota hai usko kaatna hota hai todna hota hai or kuch cheez aapko lagani hoti hai to uske andar aapko drilling karni hoti hai ya fir nail lagana hota hai so for this product it is quite workable product it can be sawed drilled like wood jo aap lakdi ke sath kar sakte hain wo wo sara kaam iske andar kar sakte hain ari se isko kaat sakte hain drill kar sakte hain iski randa laga sakte hain so for all these other you know fitments like plumbing and electrical it becomes very easy very very easy and it's an eco-friendly product. It's 100% green building material and uh, certified by LEED as a product. And uh, it uses fly ash up to 75% of its volume and 65% of its weight. So a very good uh, eco-friendly product. Fly ash, if I say that main ingredients of AAC blocks is up to 75% of fly ash, 12% of cement, 9% of lime, 3% of gypsum, and 0.5% of aluminum and soluble. Earlier, you must have heard about CLC blocks, uh, cellulose lactose concrete blocks. So they were uh, uh, they were made uh, with the help of foam. So there is there, there are two ways of making it lighter. One is the add the foam, mix it up well, you know, there will be a froth action and the froth will make it lighter, any type, any concrete. So earlier used to, you know, we call it foam concrete blocks. So that was uh, being used, uh, that was made with then, uh, what you call uh, this uh, soap or uh, this kind of products. The, the problem with those product was that, you know, the froth action was not uniform. कोई जो है झाग मोटा हो जाता था कोई पतला हो जाता था जब वो हीट से रिएक्ट करता था ऑन द साइड तो वो एक्सपेंशन कॉन्ट्रैक्शन में देयर यूज्ड टू बी लॉट ऑफ क्रैक्स सो नाउ दिस टेक्नोलॉजी हैज कम अप वेयर वी ऐड एल्युमिनियम पाउडर अ वेरी वेरी फाइन एल्युमिनियम पाउडर इफ यू मस्ट हैव सीन क्रैकर्स के अंदर जो बाद में थोड़ा सा आपको एल्युमिनियम निकलता है उससे भी बारीक पाउडर होता है तो वो पाउडर इसके मिक्सर में मिलाया जाता है और जो सीमेंट और लाइम के हाइड्रोक्साइड्स होते हैं 
वो एल्यूमिनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड बनाकर एक फ्रॉथ एक्शन क्रिएट करते हैं एंड दिस इज वॉट इज द फोमिंग प्रोसेस सो एल्यूमिनियम इज अ वेरी वेरी वाइटल प्रोडक्ट इन दिस डबल ए सी ब्लॉक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिंस वेन दिस एल्यूमिनियम हैज बीन एडेड द प्रॉब्लम विद द डबल ए सी ब्लॉक्स हैव रिड्यूस्ड ड्रास्टिकली द क्रैक्स फॉर्मेशन द वेदरिंग एंड अदर थिंग्स हैव रिड्यूस ड्रास्टिकली so i just uh, you know as far as the mod grid blocks uh, the all machinery is from siemens technology from uh, china and germany boilers thermex competent engineers schneider electrical so the top of lines this is a transfer technology uh, this is the mod grid team these are the autoclaves where this is being baked so uh, this product is uh, baked two times in fact one is that preheating and another is baking process wherein the hardening takes place the acceleration of the reaction but otherwise the cement product takes about 28 days to cure while this uh, uh, the whole process is accelerated uh, within you know 12 hours to 15 hours so the all tube curing is done in these kind of autoclaves with the high pressure and the high temperature of 200 degree centigrade and pressure ranging from 12 kg to 14 kg so these are all you know cutting machines so this is a very technology driven kind of project uh, lot of controls lot of things are there it is not a normal you know uh, just in fly ash brick manufacturing wherein you mix it and you know just compress it and make it and cure it in the uh, uh, natural uh, uh, process so this is how it is being stored uh, and the benefit of storing this way is that you know this is a steel pellet and it is uh, secured with the uh, uh, plastic uh, uh, threads and uh, you if you want to take it to respective floors the truck goes uh, to that tower and the tower crane takes it to respective floors let's say 30th floor it takes the same so ek jo dharana ek jo aapko neeto ka pata hoga ki eet jab bhatte se chalti hai aur chhati manzil tak pahunchti hai to panch bar sar se karai jati hai panch bar wo sar pe chadhti hai फिर वो पहले ट्रांसफर होती है बाहर ट्रांसफर होती है फिर ट्रक में ट्रांसफर होती है फिर ट्रक से साइड पर जाती है साइड से फिर टावर के नीचे जाती है टावर के नीचे जाने के बाद में फिर वो बालकनी पर जाती है बालकनी के अंदर जाकर फिर वो रूम्स में जाती है तो इस तरीके से वो पांच छह बार सर से ले जाकर फिर जमीन पर गिराई जाती है वायल इन दिस आप इसको पूरा का पूरा प्रोसेस इफ यू विश सो आप सीधे रेस्पेक्टिव फ्लोर पर ले जा सकते हैं सारी ब्रेकेज वगैरह सारा बच जाता है so this is another uh, advantage of this uh, product and uh, the breakage becomes very very low you know this is another bad advantage uh, this can be transported like on the open trollers uh, which i was telling you ki yahan se pura chain lagaiye aur see the respective floors par apna le jaiye uses it can be used anywhere in the wall boundary wall ke liye bahut acha product hai एक्सटर्नल वॉल इंटरनल वॉल्स एवरी यू नो इट इज एन कम्प्लीट रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ द ब्रिक अदर देन द ड्रेन्स और सब स्ट्रक्चर एप्लीकेशन इट इज यूज फॉर द यू नो आर्टिफेक्ट लाइक दिस द वन ब्लॉक ऑफ इट्स लाइक इन स्टोन ब्लॉक ऑफ टू फिट एंड सिक्सटीन फिट एटीन फिट लेंथ एंड फोर फिट हाइट तो उस पर आप कोई भी आर्टिफैक्ट्स चीजलिंग के द्वारा बना सकते हो तो द पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड यूजिंग इट्स एज एन आर्टिफैक्ट आल्सो दिस काइंड ऑफ आर्टिफैक्ट्स आर अवेलेबल नाउ इट इज मेड फ्रॉम द डबल एसी ब्लॉक अनदर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डबल एसी ब्लॉक इज वेरी वेरी गुड फॉर द ट्रॉपिकल एरिया लाइक द नॉर्थ इंडिया और डेली वेयर यू आर नॉट एबल टू सेल द टॉप फ्लोर बिकॉज ऑफ द हीट नॉर्मली टॉप फ्लोर लोग नहीं लेते हैं क्योंकि वो बोलते हैं बहुत गर्म रहता है सब तो उसके लिए आप टॉप फ्लोर पर जितना तो भी आपको वाटर प्रूफिंग करना है उसके बाद में एक थिन लेयर ऑफ 50 एम एम टू हंड्रेड एम एम इसके आप सिर्फ इसके ऊपर बिछा दीजिए एंड द टॉप फ्लोर टेम्परेचर विल कम डाउन बाय फाइव फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड दिस इज बीइंग एक्सटेंसिवली यूज नाउ एड इज बाई ऑल द बिल्डर्स फॉर द टॉप फ्लोर एंड द सब फ्लोर ऑल्सो बिकॉज आपने देखा होगा कई बार फ्लोरिंग के नीचे आप सब फ्लोर डालते हैं 
तो सब फ्लोर भी जो है वो कई बार तीस एम एम चालीस एम एम पचास एम एम का हो जाता है तो इसकी जो वेस्टेज होती है वो सारे सब फ्लोर्स में चले जाती है तो दीज आर द्यू पिक्चर्स ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट यू नो वेर इन यू यूज इट फॉर द आउटर वॉल इंटरनल वॉल्स इट्स अ वेरी गुड एप्लीकेशन फॉर हिली एरियाज हिली एरियाज के अंदर क्या होता है कि मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लेसेज आर फेड एंड यू नो द मेटेरियल इज टेकन बाई मैनुअल हॉलेजेस आदमी उसको सर पर रख कर लेके जाता है रोड से दूर है गाँव भी रोड से दूर है प्रोजेक्ट साइड भी रोड से दूर है तो पहले सामान रोड पर गिरता है फिर वहाँ से सरों पर या कंधे पर लद के जाता है तो अगर हम ईंटे लेके जाते हैं तो तीन गुना वजन होता है सेम वॉल्यूम का इसको लेके जाते हैं तो वन थर्ड वजन हो जाता है तो बहुत इजी रहता है बड़ा ब्लॉक है हीट इंसुलेशन है इजी कंस्ट्रक्शन है फास्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन है तो इसके लिए जो हिली एरियाज हैं उसके लिए बहुत बहुत अच्छा यूजेज और बहुत अच्छा रेस्पॉन्स इसका आया है और पिछले पाँच छः साल के अंदर हिली एरियाज के अंदर हम लोगों ने लगभग तीन सौ परसेंट चार सौ परसेंट तक ग्रोथ देखा है मार्केट के अंदर एंड देर इज एन मोटर आल्सो विच वी रिकमेंड इट टू बी पेस्टेड विद नॉर्मली आप सैंड और सीमेंट से भी कर सकते हैं लेकिन उसकी जो थिकनेस आती है वो पाँच एम से दस एम एम बारह एम एम पंद्रह एम तक आती है और कॉस्टली अफेयर है सैंड भी नहीं मिलता है और सीमेंट की कॉस्टिंग है वाइल दिस इज एन एडेसिव ब्लॉक एडेसिव इसको बोलते हैं मोटर थिन मोटर बोलते हैं तो वो बहुत पतला सा लगता है अबाउट थ्री एम एम टू फाइव एम एम एंड द क्योरिंग इज वेरी वेरी फास्ट इन एट आवर्स एट टू ट्वेल्व आवर्स द इनिशियल क्योरिंग टेक्स प्लेस एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस मोटर इज यू डोंट नीड अ क्योरिंग वाटर तो दिस क्योर्स इट इन टू डेज और थ्री डेज यू डोंट नीड वाटर नॉर्मली मल्टी स्टोरी बिल्डिंग में यही होता है कि आप नौ सात आठ मंजिल के ऊपर कोई क्योरिंग करता नहीं है सुपरविजन होता नहीं है तो इसको आप अप्लाई कीजिए सीधा कोई सुपरविजन की जरूरत ही नहीं है जब जब पानी नहीं चाहिए तो आपको तो फिर क्योरिंग uh, के लिए सुपरविजन की जरूरत ही नहीं तो इट्स अ वेरी गुड प्रोडक्ट वेरी नीटली डन आप देखिए बहुत थिन लाइन्स बनती हैं और जो इसका प्लास्टर एप्लीकेशन है वो भी बहुत इजी हो जाता है तो दीज आर द फ्यू यू नो फोटोग्राफ्स विद मोटिट ब्लॉक्स कम्पिटेटिव एजेस दिस इज ऑल कॉमर्शियल एस्पेक्ट आई वुड नॉट लाइक टू कवर इन दिस एंड यू नो यूजेज पर से इन गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स हैव इंक्रीज अलॉट इन 2014 इट हैज बिकम अ डी एस आइटम तो डी एस आर आइटम जो इंजीनियर्स हैं और जो गवर्नमेंट के लोग हैं उनको सबको इसका महत्व महत्व इम्पोर्टेंस पता होगा ये डी एस आर आइटम में आने के बाद में इट बिकम्स ईजियर टू यू नो रिप्लीकेट द आइटम टू प्रोवाइड द आइटम इन टेंडर्स तो दिस इज द आइटम नंबर इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन आइटम नंबर सिक्स एंड सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव एंड सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री एट लेटेस्ट आई गिव यू but the specification which has been which has been given in this dsr is very very vague specification we recommend a detailed specification should be provided in dsr so we have already written uh, bis and other department uh, pwd cpwd so they are in fact the when this new dsr will come they will induct all these detailed specification for the ac blocks so these are the detailed specifications so these are all you know Uh, multiple uh, government buildings where we have used this product our new invention is modcrete plus which is very very uh, very new product per se and for the heat gain for the you know transferring this uh, uh, heat insulation uh, this is a uh, three times better than double ac box Uh, if i tell you that uh, uh, thermal conductivity thermal conductivity sabko thoda sa samjha dete hain ki kitna thermal con conduction is particular walling material se hota hai to hamara jo thermal conduction normal red brick mein hota hai uska lagbhag 1 watt per square meter per degree kelvin se lekar 1.5 tak hota hai thermal conductivity of double ac block is 0.24 
जबकि मॉडकिट प्लस की थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी इज पॉइंट जीरो नाइन दिस इज बीन सर्टिफाइड बाई बी एस आई लैब सो यू कैन यू कैन सेफली से दैट इट इज टेन टाइम्स बेटर देन रेड ब्रिक्स तो रेड ब्रिक्स से अगर आपका सौ किलो वाट सौ वाट एनर्जी अंदर आती है इस रेड ब्रिक वॉल से तो इसमें केवल दस वाट एनर्जी अंदर आएगी या ट्रांसफर होगी so for uh, commercial complexes for uh, the buildings like uh, uh, which 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 use uh, lot of uh, air conditioning and uh, heating this product is very very good so these are some certif certificates of this product wherein uh, uh, the thermal conductivity is as low as 0.09 so with this this uh, presentation for uh, the double ac block per se as item is over and uh, uh, what i suggest that uh, eco friendly construction eco friendly tarike se environmental ko save karte hue chale so we can leave a better word for the next generation so this is what i would, uh, i just say with this and now with the relevance of the today's uh, uh, topic how it is good for the environment and how it is good for the uh, resistance for the uh, एन आई पर से जो आपका नेशनल डिजास्टर है उसमें क्या रोल है इसका वाई इट इज यू नो वेरी वेरी रेलिवेंट फॉर डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट एंड इन द इवेंट ऑफ डिजास्टर हाउ वुड इट बिहेव एंड वाट आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ यूजिंग दिस प्रोडक्ट विज इज द प्रोडक्ट विच वी नॉर्मली यूज फॉर वॉलिंग uh bit sir uh, i am not able to stop this how to do that so, sir uh, just click on the cut option okay yes, yes. okay 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 let's uh, see how it is good in the event of earthquakes how it is you know how it will perform in the event of uh, uh, natural disasters so that is one very important uh, subject uh, today Uh, see, as far as this uh, earthquake code, uh, vulnerability code, which came, I don't know the year. Uh, that sir would be able to tell. The earlier concept was that uh, you should make the building very rigid, which can you know uh, sustain the S curves, P curve, P waves, or S waves of the earthquake, and uh, should not be uh, you know uh, detrimental to the habitant. Normally, लोग बोलते हैं कि अर्थक्वेक डू नॉट किल द बिल्डिंग अर्थक्वेक डू नॉट किल इट इज द बिल्डिंग विच किल्स तो आपको बिल्डिंग उस तरह से बनानी है कि जो अगर कोई टूट भी जाए सब कुछ खत्म हो जाए तो कम से कम इनहेबिटेंट्स बचे रहें तो विद दिस इनफैक्ट इफ यू यूज अदर मेटेरियल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज वेरी लाइट इन वेट एंड इट इज दैट वेरी वेरी फ्रिजाइल एंड वेरी वट यू कॉल वट आई से दैट दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ ग्लास you know whatever energy is created in the event of earthquake by breaking this in the into the pieces that is consumed so with this the pieces of the wall will be very very small pieces and it will not be uh, detrimental to the it will not be fatal kind of uh, situation if you use this kind of uh, product this is one uh, thing and uh, very very light in weight it is the bulk it's it's not a bulky material uh, flexibility provide karti hai puri buildings ko aur weather proof hai so with this uh, i feel that uh, rest uh, uh, professor ghosh will be able to tell you what will be the advantages in event of the natural uh, uh, calamities like earthquake and uh, storms or this is what is my presentation today sir if any okay, okay. Can let me know good thank you sir for the illuminating session you have covered its workability the brick composition its advantages and even the case studies where it is uh, uh, widely uh, used uh, sir i have one submission is this uh, material is uh, quite susceptible for the himalayan areas and susceptible towards the uh, landslide prone zones dekhi landslide has got nothing to do with the walls landslide is something you know uh, this is to be with the design that uh, this is another aspect of this the building per se is building if it is constructed on the loose soil loose foundation it will collapse 
you make it from the double ac blocks or any other blocks or any other building it will collapse so i would not relate this to landslides landslides is uh, related to the earth uh, it is not related to the environment the behavior of this will remain same be it in the landslide zone or another zone but earthquake zone yes it will work differently okay uh, thank you sir like in a short period of time you have like uh, delivered show you one video if you have time uh, yes sir yes sir we have time what is used and uh, uh, just a minute let me search for this just a minute Uh, in between for the participants, I want to just uh, convey that kindly uh, submit your questions in the chat box. If you have any uh, questions or you want to discuss directly with our panelists, then uh, please raise your hand so that I can move to the panelists and you can directly communicate with our expert speaker. So kindly submit your questions in the chat box. I'm just sharing the video. It is about uh, 10 minutes video. It will clear. Uh, it will uh, you. It will be very useful. How to use it? What are the benefits? In just a minute. Yes, sir. It's visible. Though larger in dimension, the blocks are light and come in. Uh, this volume is okay, or should I? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Millimeter okay. length. Sir, the volume is okay, or should I increase or decrease? Yes, okay. sir. It's okay. It's okay, sir. To 300 millimeter in thickness. A standard concrete AAC block of 600 millimeter by 250 millimeter by 150 millimeter is equivalent to about eight clay bricks. The weight of one single block is about 14 kgs. Whereas eight red clay bricks, equivalent of the same volume as the blob, weigh 36 kgs, that is more than double. The 10 fly ash bricks of the equivalent volume are heavy at about 51 kgs. The nature of AAC blocks make them light. Whereas fly ash bricks and red clay bricks can be seen to sink, and AAC, when immersed in water, floats up magically. Bricks have to be placed on the block to keep it immersed in water. After six hours, water seeps inside the two which can be clearly seen when cut into two. This makes the red clay and fly ash heavier than curing. When taken out after six hours and cut, one can visibly see that the core of the AAC blade is still In another experiment, when a half immersed block is taken out of water after four hours, we notice that the level of the soaked water by osmosis had increased by 25 millimeters only. Let us now compare the advantages of building walls with AAC blocks in comparison to red clay grains. After chipping, watering the foundation and the pillars, a thick layer of mortar of cement and sand in the ratio of 1 is to 6 mixed with water is applied. As with bricks, the walls are erected by first placing blocks at the two corners. A water level pipe is used to ensure that the corner blocks are placed in a straight line. A 
or rubber mallet is gently tapped and straightened the block. A plumb line is used to ensure that the block is vertically straight. As in bricks, a thread line is tied between the two corner blocks for aligning. After applying mortar, blocks are then placed between the two corners. If there is a gap between two blocks, the length is measured. A major advantage of AAC blocks is that they are very flexible and can be cut into any shape or size perfectly with a normal hacksaw and the help of a marking triangle. These perfectly cut pieces of the required length can easily be used to fill the gaps in the wall. After the base layer is complete, the thick mortar is not required anymore. Another distinctive advantage, a thin layer of mortar of cement-based adhesive and water in the ratio of 3 is to 1 is prepared for building the rest of the wall. The thin layer mortar is then applied with a trowel to maintain a thickness of 3 mm and avoid wastage. As usual, the layers are erected after first laying the corner blocks. Walls with AAC blocks can be built much more rapidly than red clay bricks because it is easier to handle due to its lightweight, despite the large dimension. A water level is used to ensure that the wall is horizontally straight. Another gain of AAC blocks is that they do not require curing as required for red clay bricks. Just a sprinkle of water is required before applying the thin layer of mortar. Let us now study the comparison between AAC blocks and red clay bricks. To fill an area from pillar to pillar of 10.5 feet by 8 feet, 585 bricks were used, whereas, amazingly, only 50 blocks were used to fill the same area. The time taken for erecting the brick wall was six and a half hours, whereas the blocks clocked at three hours only. To bond 585 grids, 1,656 joints of 15 millimeter to 20 millimeter thickness, a thick mortar of two bags of cement and 20 cubic feet of medium sand was used. Why? To join 50 blocks with 162 joints of average 3 mm thickness, less than one bag of ready mixed thin mortar was used. The cost of thick mortar was rupees 1120, whereas the cost of ready mixed thin mortar was about rupees 650 only. The cost of labor for six skilled and unskilled men for six and a half hours was at least 1,300. Whereas the cost of labor for three men for three hours was at least 350 only. The AAC blocks are symmetrical. Regular dimensional effects confirm the uniformity before releasing it in the market. Red clay brick blocks need curing and plastering. The symmetrical AAC blocks are smooth and do not need any plaster. However, for better protection, as in the case of the outer wall, if plaster is applied, then the mortar used for blocks can be a fraction of what is required for bricks.
The plaster for red clay will become thick as the basin keeps adding thick water to be uneven to give a smooth finish. Eventually, it is 20 millimeters thick. Whereas, the plaster for blocks is about 10 millimeters only. Let us now look at other advantages of AAC blocks. A trays cutter can easily cut grooves as required. An iron chisel can then easily scoop out the unwanted material. After concealing, the flexibility of the AAC blocks makes it easy to place conduits and pipes. Though lightweight, the walls made of AAC blocks are sturdy and can effortlessly support heavy marbles. Large tiles can easily be bonded to the walls. The AAC blocks can be effortlessly drilled by using normal drill machine to add various fixtures. After drilling, the holes can easily be blocked with raw plugs and fitted with the screws. A wash basin, commode, and other fixtures can easily be hung onto the wall. As the AAC wall surface is very smooth, a wall putty can be directly applied on the surface of the inner walls of the house to give it the perfect wall finish for painting. Uh, this is, uh, am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible. Yeah, this is what uh, the video was. The rest part is the commercial. I don't want to show that. Uh, so you Any questions, a... please? I uh, hope uh, this will clear a lot of doubts. This video will clear a lot of doubts uh, in your minds. Yes, sir. It's very phenomenal, like uh, even in a very simple manner. The comparison is well explained and it's quite cost effective in terms of like, uh, I think uh, the cost part is not that much clear in the slides, but in this video, it's quite, uh, but one layman can easily uh, counteract this cost effective portion also. So maybe uh, the participants may think that it's a, uh, quite costly. But in terms of cost also, it's quite uh, acceptable uh, in the terms of uh, cost, cost materials also. So it's, it's such a phenomenal technology to accept. Uh, if I cover that cost part of it, uh, you know, uh, at the location like Delhi or NCR, this is uh, directly about 15 to 20% cheaper than the red brick. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the direct cost comparison. And if you take uh, the labor, the plaster, the mortar into account, this is about 40% cheaper than the normal brick work. It is as far as the NCR is concerned. And if you take the cities like uh, uh, metropolitan cities like Bombay, Mumbai or so, uh, this is approximately about 25% cheaper. And uh, if I compare the red brick uh, with the double AC block in the uh, hilly areas or mountains like Uttarakhand or Himachal or Kashmir. So this would be about 50% cheaper overall cost. That's uh, this is what is the, financials, a great... uh, the broader financials. Uh, and if it is a project, it will uh, save you more. Uh, yeah, this is a very vital part. Uh, yes, part. sir. Yes, जो है कंस्ट्रक्शन में लोग पूछते हैं वो कॉस्टली होगा हमारे यहां पे उपलब्ध नहीं है तो आपका तो कहां जोधपुर वगैरह में राजस्थान में आप 
सप्लाई करते हैं कि सर अभी एज ऑफ नाउ देर आर गुड अबाउट हंड्रेड प्लांट इन दंट्री ओके एंड अक्रॉस द ब्रेथ एंड द लेंथ ऑफ द कंट्री and i feel that uh, most of the reasons are fed with uh, wc block somebody or else will other will supply it okay so like in west uh, there are many plenty of them in uh, east there are few of them in north uh, there are good about uh, 15 players and uh, okay. south also a lot of players are there so uh, north east mein hai north east mein hai sir north east mein hai bahut acha bahut acha response aa raha hai sir wahan par uska ओके तो इसमें केवल फ्लाईएश 70 75 परसेंट है नहीं अलग से और कोई मटेरियल वेस्ट मटेरियल जैसे जीजीबीएस वगैरह जो नहीं सब देखिए इसके अंदर बहुत सारे एक्सपेरिमेंट्स चल रहे हैं अभी भी चल रहे हैं जो स्लैग होता है जो स्टील सीमेंट से स्टील फैक्ट्री से निकल कर आता है वो भी मिक्स करना शुरू हुआ है इसके अंदर उससे भी सब्सटेंशली अच्छे रिजल्ट मिल रहे हैं हाँ ओके so the people have started using the other materials also okay ek so all base material is fly ash and uh, okay. where the fly ash is not available the base material is sand river sand okay sand ek uh, ye puchte hain log uh, jaise ki ye load bearing jaise ek manzila makan hai usme load bearing wall matlab slab banaya jayega to iske upar as a wall mein wall mein use karenge to इस पे डायरेक्टली विदाउट बीम एट द स्लैब लेवल क्या डायरेक्टली कास्ट कर सकते हैं इसके ऊपर सर दिस दिस विल डिपेंड ऑन द स्पेंस ऑफ द एरिया लाइक इफ यू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ हॉल ऑफ 50 फीट स्पैन एंड यू पुट एन आरसीसी स्लैब ऑन दिस इट विल नॉट टेक लोड एंड सो विल नॉट द रेड ब्रिक सो पर्टिकुलरली इफ आई कंपेयर द कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दिस the compressive yeah. strength of the brick is normally plus 75 is 7.5 uh, to uh, 10 uh, mpa yeah. while uh, this is being commercially being uh, uh, manufactured with the range of 4 mpa 5 mpa now yeah. the people we have started using it for 9 mpa also this is we call it hd high density okay. so but the density also increases but to my mind it should not be a load bearing uh, 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 okay. इसमें अगर बीम जैसे स्लैब बीम बीम बना करके इसमें डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करके फिर स्लैब कास्ट करें बीम एंड स्लैब एक साथ सर उससे फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा बीम का लोड भी इसी के ऊपर आएगा ना ओके तो इफ इट इज इट इट शुड नॉट बी ए लोड बेरिंग प्रोडक्ट Okay, okay. Ideally, it's not. Uh, you use it for ten feet by ten feet uh, rooms for one or hmm. two floors. It's okay. Yeah. But yeah. not. Uh, it's not a load bearing product. Okay. Um, how about ah? Uh, ये जो plaster आप अंदर का जैसे आपने plastering किया है using the same uh, powder that you have developed, no? Yeah. No, no plaster can be of any sir. anything it can be normally is normal sand uh, and cement plaster and it can be ready made plaster also okay and it can be gypsum plaster lot of the, you know in uh, yeah. areas like uh, developed areas people use gypsum plaster one okay. so that is being extensively used so it is very good uh, for the product okay interior wall agara ye kiya jata hai interior load bearing nahi but interior partition wall agara it is not a load bearing uh, product it's not a load bearing element but uh, it uh, it takes a sufficiently good load yeah ki kyunki 4 mpa 5 mpa kyunki brick right. normally brick ka to koi uniformity nahi hai right so seven secondly sir if i if i tell you one more thing uh, the, if this one block is equivalent to uh, 20 bricks and we make a block of the 20 bricks joined with the mortar and test as a component of 20 bricks assembly of 20 bricks test mm. as a assembly of that for the compression and test this as an uh, block so the mm. strength of this block will be much higher because the mortar strength is much lower yeah so that is the the the, the strength of the chain is uh, determined with uh, with the link the strength of the link 
so in that okay. case the strength of the motor will come into the play okay while uh, if you it is very simple sir if you cut this into a brick size and test it it is lesser and if you add 10 20 bricks and uh, test it for the compressive strength this is better but it is it should not be used as a load bearing structure okay and this can be now people are very much climate sensitive enough jaise kuch area mein local stones agar stone machinery jaise hilly areas mein ya even uh, even apna uh, jodhpur areas mein local stones are being used stone wall they are using kya stone wall mein generally 12 inch minimum stone wall ka hota hai 12 inch but uh, keeping in mind about the insulation part, like you have told about that, uh, most of the multi-story building, even many residential building also, in order to reduce the temperature uh, from the top floor, uh, they are using and many places these uh, maybe this this uh, double AC uh, layers are being used and then seal it. So, क्या ये layer को क्या stone machinery जो wall होता है उसमें क्या in between एक में भी एक inch देर inch का slab अगर अंदर कर दें और wall को key से connect कर दें Sir, it will make lot of the wall very complicated and the the, the labor cost will be will increase substantially. So that okay. should not be done. In fact, it will be three three stage construction. So better would do uh, with this uh, the uh, stone masonry only and clad it from the inside uh, double AC blocks to attain this uh, um, uh, heat insulation. Okay. Now the load bearing na karke heat load insulation. Load bearing na stone uh, stone masonry load bearing ki jo under iski cladding kar dijiye for uh, okay. good insulation. Under iska cladding kar. Yeah. yeah. उसके बीच में की डेवलप कर दीजिए थोड़ी थोड़ी सी बट टू माय माइंड आइदर यूज एनी ऑफ द मटेरियल यूज डबल एसी और क्लैड यूज डबल एसी ब्लॉक एज अ मेन वॉल एंड क्लैड इट विद द स्टोन क्लैडिंग मच थिनर क्लैडिंग इफ यू वांट यू नो एस्थेटिक लुक ऑफ द क्लैडिंग द स्टोन तो आजकल तो वो क्लैडिंग आती है 40 40 50 50 एमएम का स्टोन वॉल क्लैडिंग आती है उसको बस आप क्लैडिंग की तरह से यूज कीजिए ओके so uh, as far as transport cost or manufacturing at site kitna variation hota hai sir it cannot Even be on the distance terrain it cannot be manufactured at site sir ha because it's a complicated manufacturing process wherein you require lot of infrastructure of uh, yeah. oiler uh, movement um, autoclaves cutting machines mm. lot of things yeah the whole project per se is uh, you know uh, about requires about 10 acres of land yeah, yeah. so to agar koi bahut bada project hai 20 50000 makano ka to aap map site pe laga lijiye but otherwise it's not advisable okay isme pattern wala aap jaise jab autoclave karne karne ke se pehle ya जैसे देर आर नाउ मेनी फेसार्ड्स आर बीइंग मेड कास्ट विद मतलब आउटसाइड का आउटसाइड मतलब फेसार्ड अगर आप बिल्डिंग में मल्टी स्टोरी बिल्डिंग गवर्नमेंट बिल्डिंग में तो इसमें क्या कुछ उस तरह पैटर्न वाला कुछ सर हमने किया है हमने किया है वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस लाइंस ओके लाइंस फॉर एस्थेटिकल सेक एंड लाइंस फॉर बेटर ग्रिप विद द प्लास्टर बेटर एडेजन विद प्लास्टर अदरवाइज क्या होता है कि इसकी मैनुअल हैकिंग करनी पड़ती है मैनुअल हैकिंग करके फिर प्लास्टर से एडेजन होता है उसका तो अब उसमें लाइन्स आने लगी हैं डीप लाइन आने लगी हैं शेलो लाइन आती आती हैं तो वो वो फीचर पॉसिबल है ओके बट इट हैज टू बी डन वेरी नीटली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू इट यूज इट फॉर एक्सटीरियर्स और इंटीरियर्स यू हैव टू यूज इट वेरी नीटली ओके इसमें क्या वगैरह स्पिल ना हो पानी स्पिल ना हो कॉर्नर ब्रेकेज ना हो वो थोड़ा सा देखना पड़ेगा सर ओके सो क्या सीएनसी मशीन से कट करके कुछ पैटर्न अगर बना सकते हैं इसका बना सकते हैं सर मैंने आपको दिखाया ना ये जो आर्टिफेक्ट्स बने हुए हैं 
डबल एसी का एक ब्लॉक देखू तो चार फिट बाई दो फिट बाई सोलह फिट तक का होता है सर ओके सोलह फिट क्या बीस फिट तक का होता है सर एक ब्लॉक तो इट्स लाइक एन स्टोन ब्लॉक तो उस पर आप सी एन सी चीजल कटिंग कुछ भी आप कीजिए और उससे आर्टिफेक्ट बनाइए सर कुछ भी बनाइए फॉर दैट मैटर क्लैडिंग मटेरियल बनाइए कुछ भी बनाइए बट उसमें बस देखना ये होगा कि विल दैट बी कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव और नॉट या अगर एक्सटेंसिव यूजेस है एक्सटेंसिव यूजेस है तो आप बनाइए कैन बी डन एंड इट्स अ वेरी गुड मटेरियल फॉर दैट लुक्स वेरी गुड वेरी स्मूथ अच्छा अनलाइक अदर नेचुरल मटेरियल्स इसके अंदर जो फील है पोरोसिटी की और कलर की वो बहुत अच्छी है वेरिएशन नहीं होगा कंसिस्टेंसी इन कलर होगा कंसिस्टेंसी इन क्वालिटी होगा कंसिस्टेंसी इन कलर जो डेप्थ होती है उसकी वो होगा पूरा ओके तो इसमें क्या आपने क्या कलर वाला कुछ पैटर्न टाइप के किया था सर किया था बट दैट टर्न आउट टू बी एक्सपेंसिव ओके अनलेस पीपल आर प्रिपेयर टू पे फॉर इट इट कैन बी डन यू कैन एड एनी कलर टू इट बट इट शुड बी ए वैल्यू प्रपोजिशन फॉर द बायर हाँ Okay. The better would be to paint it from outside. Oh. Cheaper. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So uh, I think another aspect that uh, what is a, just say Delhi NCR me hai and uh, it is lightweight, almost one third the weight, and many people they go for rooftop extra extension, horizontal extension. a uh, vertical extension also people do but they if this material is used of course uh, load will be taken care of by the frame but only wall material can be used this and this becomes as you have already uh, given that what is the cost saving in fact in hill area it is even much more and uh, even in city area delhi ncr it is about 15 20 or 30% even if it is compared to the conventional brick wall and uh, uh, so labor cost saving plus material uh, it means labor cost plus material also means uh, this kind of material equivalent to that uh, there is a lots of savings are there and uh, so that is why i think uh, demand is very high सर इसके अंदर एक और बेनिफिट एक और एप्लीकेशन है जो बहुत एंथुसियास्ट करती है जो अभी आपने देखा होगा जो नॉन टावर बेसमेंट की टॉप्स होती है नॉन टावर रूफ्स मल्टी स्टोरी कॉम्प्लेक्स के अंदर दो टावर हैं दोनों टावर के बीच में बेसमेंट है नीचे जो बेसमेंट के ऊपर की जो छत होती है वो नॉर्मल प्लेन से नीची होती है टू रन दोज यू नो दट प्लम्बिंग लाइन्स इलेक्ट्रिकल लाइन्स ट्रेंचेज एंड अदर थिंग्स सो नॉर्मली देर इज ए गैप ऑफ द प्लिथ ऑफ द टावर एंड नॉन टावर बेसमेंट रूफ About two feet, one one and half feet to two feet. So, उसमें भरने के लिए जो material होता है लोग मिट्टी भरते हैं और बहुत सारी चीज बट दिस मेटेरियल इज सेट टू बी द बेस्ट मेटेरियल फॉर दैट ओके लाइट वेट होता है रूफ के ऊपर लोड कम पड़ता है दो फिट का ढाई फिट का और इजी yeah. होता है कॉम्पेक्शन की जरूरत नहीं होती इसमें बैठेगा नहीं है कोई भी मेटेरियल जैसे नॉर्मल कंसिस्ट सस्टेन लोड से कॉम्पेक्शन हो जाता है वो जरूरत वो नहीं होता है yeah. तो yeah. बहुत सारे बेनिफिट उसके हो जाते हैं और प्लस सस्ता है ओके okay. इसका ब्रोकन ब्लॉक भी यूज करते हैं लोग जो वेस्ट होता है वो भी यूज hmm. करते हैं वो भी काफी सस्ता पड़ता है ओके एंड व्हाट इज द यूजुअल ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉस्ट से फ्रॉम दिल्ली टू फ्रॉम हियर टू ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉस्ट कंपेयर टू द कॉस्ट जैसे डिस्टेंस वाइज एक जस्ट जैसे 300 किलोमीटर दूरी पर कोई लेके जाएगा आपका फैक्ट्री से परसेंटेज वाइज वेरिएशन इन द ट्रांसपोर्ट किलोमीटर की दूरी पर अगर मैं देखता हूं तो मटेरियल कॉस्ट का अबाउट 30 परसेंट इज द ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉस्ट 30 टू 40 परसेंट लेकिन वहां पर ये देखना पड़ेगा कि मेटेरियल कॉस्ट प्लस ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉस्ट के कंपेरिजन के अंदर वहां ईट ही क्या कॉस्ट है तो वो अगर उस लोकेशन पर सस्ती बैठती है तो मिल जाता है सर वो मतलब इट इज वाइजर टू गो फॉर थर्टी थ्री हंड्रेड किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस देन यूज इट द ब्रिक देयर 
किया और इसके लिए स्पेशल कोई स्कीम स्किल्स का जरूरत भी नहीं है जो नॉर्मल लेबर जो काम कर रहे हैं आपने जो देखा सर स्पेशल स्किल्स की कोई जरूरत नहीं है इट इज जस्ट अ सेम एज मच मच इजीयर देन द नॉर्मल ब्रिक वर्क ओके और जब लोग लगाने लगते हैं तो एक्सपर्ट हो जाते हैं अपने आप उनको लगता है कि बहुत इजी है पूरा दिन के अंदर नॉर्मल एक आदमी और एक मिस्त्री अगर 100 स्क्वायर फीट ब्रिक बनाता है ब्रिक वर्क करता है तो ये 300 करता है या and the people are smart enough and intelligent enough the this, this skill set uh, mystery ka bahut na acha hota hai ki wo grasp kar lete hain bahut jaldi okay to wo uh, nayi nayi cheezon ko samajh lete hain adopt kar lete hain ji ji adopt kar lete hain to unke liye bada easy hai chhota sa pehle banaiye ek din ka koi agar zarurat padti hai to training bhi dete hain hum log aha uh, initially train kar dete hain lekin aajkal to youtube pe sab kuch hai unko video yeah. dikhaiye aur karaiye sir इसमें एक पॉसिबल एप्लीकेशन आपने बोला एक ब्लॉग कितने का आ, आ, कितना साइज ब्लॉग आपने कम से कम सर ये साइजेस डिपेंड्स ऑन द विथ ऑफ द वॉल विथ ऑफ दिस द साइज स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम थ्री इंचेस टू लेट अस से ट्वेल्व इंचेस थिक ओके तीन इंच चार इंच साढ़े चार इंच पाँच इंच छः इंच आठ इंच साढ़े नौ इंच नौ इंच दस इंच इसकी विथ में आता है लेंथ इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम लेंथ डज नॉट मैटर क्योंकि आपको लंबाई तो पूरी वॉल की चलती है लेंथ नॉर्मली सिक्स हंड्रेड एम एम और सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम में आती है और जो हाइट है इसकी वो हाइट आठ इंच नौ इंच और साढ़े नौ इंच में आती है ओके इस तरीके से इसमें हाइट आती है इसकी दो सौ एम एम दो सौ चालीस एम एम और दो सौ पचास एम एम लेंथ इसकी दो आती है छः सौ और छः सौ पच्चीस और थिकनेसेस आती हैं वो दैट स्टार्ट दैट वेरीज फ्रॉम 50 एमएम टू 250 एमएम ओके अगर मैं बोलूं क्या क्योंकि आपका तो एवरीथिंग बिफोर पुटिंग देम इनटू द ऑटोक्लेव यू कट देम व्हाटएवर साइज इज रिक्वायर्ड कस्टमाइज्ड साइज तो उसमें एक जैसे वन ऑफ द पोटेंशियल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस लाइटवेट ब्लॉक्स इज इन रिटेनिंग वॉल फिल मटेरियल retaining wall in the you know many landslides are happening and normal retaining wall they are so heavy and uh, so we can the retaining wall ke piche jo backfill hota hai that is also easily done by the soil which is heavy so that backfill soil uh, can be replaced with this kind of lightweight block sir that is a good uh, you know good uh, substitute for that there will be lot of uh, drainage also through this Uh-huh. Uh, which is not there in the backfill of uh, soil uh, backfill, yeah. Yeah. which puts which exerts uh, pressure on the retaining wall but yeah. the only thing is the economics economics wise it may not be that economical it will be expensive because there will be volumes there will be cost so uh, mm-hmm. from a commercial point of view may not be a very advisable uh, proposition for retaining wall backfill but otherwise a good material for backfill yeah Insurance because there are a lot of uh, you know drainages also uh, हाँ, even drainage can be created through this also, right, right. No, making no. hole easily. Right, right, right. हाँ, इसका okay. broken block लीजिए तो drainage अपने आप हो जाएगी sir. अपने आप हो जाएगा. और उसमें right. geotextile से cover कर दें, तो seal अगर अंदर जा के वो कुछ नहीं करेगा उसमें. कर सकते हैं sir, बिल्कुल कर सकते हैं. Logging नहीं होगा कुछ. Provided नहीं provided the economics uh, are affordable हाँ. to the buyer. Uh, one thing is because uh, the, most of the retaining wall being made, they are made and they add so much load to the slope itself. So if we can cost cut down this using lightweight block in the backfill, and that will give lot of safety to those retaining wall. And that safety is more important than the and whatever cost uh, DSR is there, cost is also substantially high in the hilly area while making the retaining wall normally. but if we use this block which is not so costly because if we say per meter cube how many bricks we make standard about, bricks about 500 to 550 sir depending on the size nowadays okay. because the brick comes under size also okay so if we say that 1 meter cube of concrete just just uh, approximate is about 2.5 ton and which i think cost around 10000 now Rupees? No, one cubic meter. No, no, sir. About six thousand rupees, sir. Six thousand. Six thousand five hundred rupees. Six thousand five hundred. Yes, sir. 
and this one one meter cube volume is approximately three thousand rupees. Three thousand rupees, so almost right. fifty percent. But uh, covers more. Uh -huh. It's okay that we are talking about cubic meter only. So the covers. Cubic meter only. So covers. Yeah. Same. Okay. Yeah. So almost fifty percent, we can okay. say. Okay. Okay. So I'm keeping these things in mind because now we have to do a lot of uh, programs and uh, site specific installations and alternative to conventional retaining wall, which uh, are not effective enough, especially in the hilly area. So we have to go for this lightweight material, not only in the building construction, but also in the retaining wall that uh, which are uh, being taken away by the heavy rainfall, along with the very, very uh, 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 nice drainage that we can use it. Okay. So, so think... sir, one more thing which I would like to cover today is uh, uh, not only that, you know, you would all say that you being professional, you, uh, if everything is hunky-dory, everything is so good about it, why not, uh, you know, do it other other things also? But what is the negative about it? Yeah. yeah. So, if everything right. is positive, so, what is the So, this is negative bhi hai, sir. So, which is my duty to explain, in fact. Yeah. Uh, there is uh, like uh, uh, the best uh, benefit of this is a heat insulation. And this is the negative also, ne negative part also of this. It's like uh, if you pour and hot water into the glass, so the internal wall will expand and the external wall will try to, you know, squeeze. So with the result, the crack uh, take place. You have seen a cup of tea, put a warm tea in the cup. In this way, since this is an insulated material, so the inside of the cup and the outside of the cup, there is a difference in the temperature between the two. So the temperature, let's say the tropical area like Delhi, the outside of the cup is 45 and the inside of the cup is 25. So you can see that the temperature of 20 degrees is different. So compression hoga bahar expansion hoga to with the result thermal cracks come up mm -hmm. so normally double ac block ke andar thermal cracks ki problem hai usko okay. abhi kafi sare logo ne hum sab logo ne kafi uh, arrest karne ka koshish kiya hai during the process of uh, manufacturing and uh, during the process of installation during the process of manufacturing agar iska bahut acha hum uh, 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 cement use करते हैं बहुत अच्छा graded flyish use करते हैं aluminium सही तरीके से use करते हैं दो time bake करते हैं इसको क्योंकि इसमें एक problem और भी होती है suppose हाँ. this is 10 inch uh, वो, uh, block तो जब हम इसको autoclave में डालते हैं तो जो इसका core होता है वो उतना bake नहीं हो पाता जितनी surface bake होती है तो इसको एक okay. तो दो बार आपको bake करना होगा तो अगर वो अगर हम bake नहीं करेंगे तो वो thermal fatigue के कारण thermal cracks आ जाते हैं Okay. Each area will be differently behave in thermal exposures and the area will be different from the With the result, okay. thermal cracks come. So, thermal cracks to develop, uh, avoid liye, during hmm. the process of manufacturing, two times bake it in a good way. Plus, the uh, uh, okay. cement is a good grade. Ka use ka Consistency and quality is Plus, when we use mortar, we use a mortar in fiberglass ka mesh. So, what will happen if the, the, if the both sides of the mesh is being used, it will retain it. The expansion and contraction will uh, arrest it. With the result, you will get lot, much lesser thermal cracks than the normal ones. So, in this way, we have done a lot of experiments in the past 10-12 years, which was the first problem of thermal crack. वो अब प्रॉब्लम काफी हद तक कम हुआ है सो दैट इज द ओनली नेगेटिव एज ऑफ नाउ विद द डबल एसी ब्लॉक रेस्ट एवरीथिंग इज वेरी वेरी पॉजिटिव फॉर डबल एसी ब्लॉक्स ओके तो इसमें तो मतलब बहुत कुछ रिसर्च का कुछ प्रोजेक्ट अगर आपका चल रहा है किसी कर रहे हैं सर करते रहते हैं ये बीइंग इंडस्ट्री एज ए इंडस्ट्री एज ए होल इज डेवलपिंग लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स and they have done the all of the all of people have done you know remarkably well jo hum log pehle 5 saal pehle ya 10 saal pehle block banate the uska kai guna acha version banate hain okay it's a natural process jaise jaise use badhta hai jaise jaise problem aati hai usi tarike se develop hota rehta hai so we can take questions from the audience 
Huh, audience, uh, yeah. Sir, there is no question today. <laughs> there, are, there, are two, there, are, there, there can be two aspects of it, I, either the presentation. <laughs> yes. Or they, they, they have understood everything, that is why. सिग्निफिकेंट डायमेंशन इन टू दंस्ट्रक्शन इकोनॉमी सेफ्टी एंड एनवायरमेंट एंड मोस्ट ऑफ More, more and more above that is that it is using seventy, seventy-five percent of the ply ash, which is oh yeah. One thing is ply ash, just uh, is a waste material it used to be, but now it has become a very. क्या आपको ply ash क्या खरीदना पड़ता है नहीं? खरीदना पड़ता है सर अब auction होता है ply ply ash is now a premium commodity. Okay. It's being used in many many products, construction product, uh, uh, road may use होता है, काफी जगह use होने लगा है, तो now it has become a good uh, yes product, is a good commodity, तो उसको खरीदना पड़ता है, auction होता है बाकायदा सर। अच्छा अच्छा अच्छा, ठीक है, so ठीक है, I think Rusha Yes, sir. It's a lot of uh, information, and uh, it's most an uh, illuminating and productive session today. Uh, I think uh, for my uh, from my pers pers personal perspective, I must say like being a layman also by just uh, going through your presentation and videos, it is quite uh, prominent for me that how it is environmentally uh, susceptible and it's acceptable in the environment in the current uh, construction practices industries uh, so that we can even in the lightweight uh, industries this uh, technology will lead so that is uh, i think uh, our uh, participants will learn and uh, they should implement this technology and it is very effective in nature too so thank you sir for joining us today and uh, providing and delivered a lot of uh, informative session for the participants i i am expecting that at least few engineers and technical persons must uh, take some relevance out of it and uh, implement in the current scenario and uh, just a few information for the participants that uh, please download your certificate from monday onwards do visit the nidm training portal and uh, give your valuable food feedback and followed by that you can able to uh, generate your certificate and not forget to download your certificate from monday onwards in our upcoming webinar series we will cover the sig building syn uh, syndrome aspects and the hydro seeding technology in upcoming two uh, webinar sessions and it will be live on uh, friday from 2:30 pm to 4:30 pm so thank you and uh, be Join with us. Do register yourself for the upcoming training programs. So definitely, you will learn a new technology and how you can able to uh, prospect in the towards the resilience infrastructures domain uh, in uh, making the uh, communities uh, quite uh, effective from disaster point of view. So thank you for joining us today again. So thank you, Professor Chandel Bos and our distinguished speaker Chandel sir for uh, joining and uh, giving this. Uh, informative session yeah. thank you very much uh, for giving me an opportunity and hope uh, yeah, not opportunity it is a really awareness of jo matlab nidm mein hum to capacity building training capacity building ka ye nidm is the only institution in the country in disaster management so aapka ye yahan pe is manch mein aane se hamare jo nidm ka jo sangoshti hai Uh, we get ourselves also, you know, reaching to the root mass across across the globe now because it is live in the YouTube. Any time anyone can revisit uh, this uh, program and how it is all on record, live record is there. So, इसलिए हमें बार-बार जो है यही हमारा काम है पिछले 25 साल से 95 से रहता 28 years onward. we have been doing such kind of things but with the with the with the webinar kind of things where uh, multimedia 
taking multimedia into that, uh, things can be discussed uh, and uh, with uh, online and questioning, cross questioning, validating, checking uh, all information, and so that has given us a, a lot of uh, advantage to bring uh, such kind of webinar into a series that we have started in the 19th May this year. Uh, let us hope that we'll see some other occasions where you will be invited very soon next week. On a, we are we are going to have uh, uh, making building inspector means it is inspector word is very uh, tricky or rather very sticky into our mind but how to check the buildings and infrastructure and their health as it is before they go wrong. So we need a lot of civil engineers to be trained, especially the civil engineers who are in the fourth year or final year. Uh, they, they can find very, very lucrative job in this area, especially uh, health aspects of infrastructure. It may be tunnel, it may be even water body, it may be buildings, multi-story building. It may be a, a shopping complex. So we are going to start a you know, series of program with CBRI and CIDC, Construction Industry Development Council, a series of program, level one, level two, level three. So, Jindal Saab ko bulayenge usme. Pahila wala jo hoga online, uske baad face to face honge, Delhi mein. An idea mein honge. I will be available, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very Thank much, Avinash. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.